the movie begins at a Costco, three years after meeting each other. Ex-CIA operative Frank Moses tries to lead a normal life with girlfriend Sarah Ross. Frank tells Sarah to go get some jumbo shrimp. As she leaves, Frank asks Marvin Boggs, his ex-partner, what he's doing there. He dismisses Marvin Boggs' claim that enemies are still after them. Marvin tells him that if it makes him feel better, he can bring Sarah, who runs to where Marvin is, excited about where they are going to go. Sarah begs Frank to go to where they are supposed to go. Marvin drives to them and tells Frank that it's his last chance. Marvin then drives off and his car explodes. In Marvin's funeral, Frank is unconvinced that Marvin is dead, although Sarah convinces him to attend the wake. Frank and Sarah go to see Marvin for the last time, and Frank pushes a pin on Marvin's arm to see if he would react. Then, Frank delivers a tearful eulogy. Afterwards, government agents come to pick up Frank, and they tell him that they need to interrogate Frank at an FBI Yankee White facility. Frank notices the sniper and decides to go to keep his girlfriend safe. At the facility, Frank is getting interrogated about what his knowledge is on Project Nightshade. Meanwhile, corrupt agent Jack Horton and a team of private military contractors ambush the place. While Horton goes looking for Frank, he kills several people on his way to the interrogation room. When Horton meets Frank, he threatens to torture Sarah until Frank gives him the information he needs. Frank evades Horton and the men who open fire inside a room filled with documents. Frank manages to eliminate the rest of the men by hiding an explosive device underneath a corpse and single-handedly attacking the rest of them. With the help of the still-living Marvin, he and Frank leave. Frank is surprised to see Sarah waiting outside. He gets angry at Marvin for bringing Sarah along. Later, they all go on the run. Marvin explains to the couple that he and Frank have been targeted as members of Operation Nightshade, a clandestine operation during the Cold War to smuggle a nuclear weapon into Russia. Frank tries to convince Sarah to lay low, but she refuses because she believes this new mission will improve their relationship. All of a sudden, they hear a noise in the trunk of the car and come to find that Marvin has kidnapped the senior director of military intelligence. Meanwhile, Horton convinces international agencies that Frank and his associates are national terrorists on the run. He then asks to have a specialist top contract killer Han Cho Bai to target Moses and his associates. Back in Hong Kong, Han arrives at his destination. Despite the tight security, he manages to eliminate his target using only a photograph folded into origami. Afterwards, he receives a call from Horton to target Moses, seeking revenge against Frank. Meanwhile, Frank's old ally Victoria notifies him that she has been contracted by MI6 to kill the fugitives. Victoria warns Frank about it, including Han being hired to kill them. Subsequently, after Marvin interrogates his kidnapped victim, they are informed of the physicist, Edward Bailey, who built some of the greatest weapons during the Cold War, including the nuke that was smuggled into Moscow. Han, upon arriving in New Jersey to find his targets, realizes that Frank, Marvin, and Sarah steal Han's plane and fly to Paris to find the frog with the Americans and Han in pursuit. In Paris, they are met by Katya Petrakovich, a Russian secret agent with whom Frank had a relationship, who was also investigating Nightshade. She welcomes Frank by giving him a warm, wet kiss. Later, Sarah tries to act like she doesn't know anything, but the frog notices this as she continues to look at him. After a massive shootout and car chases by Marvin with Sarah and Frank and Katya, they manage to capture the frog. They interrogate the man in different ways, but Sarah, hoping to one-up Katya, seduces him. The frog agrees to help Sarah, and he gives them the key to his security box. That evening, Katya takes the key after intoxicating Frank, but Marvin has already anticipated Katya's double cross and provides Frank with a similar key to give her. They come to find that Frank and Sarah angrily slap him for falling for Katya's schemes. Afterwards, Sarah goes shopping with Frank's money to get back at him. Then, she leaves Frank and Marvin to go back to the hotel. As they try to find a taxi, Marvin and Frank get ambushed by Han with a machine gun. The top contract killer starts looking for his plane from Frank, but the duo manages to escape using a stick of dynamite Marvin has been keeping for emergencies. Later, 
Marvin, Frank, and Sarah search the box themselves and find documents pointing to physicist Dr. Edward Bailey as the creator of the nightshade bomb. They discover Bailey is alive, held for 32 years in a maximum security asylum for the criminally insane in London. Victoria, alerted by Marvin, ambushes the trio, but helps fake their deaths by using three random bodies from Victoria's freezer. Victoria and Marvin later infiltrate the asylum. They find the hyperactive Bailey, incapacitated by mind-fogging substances. They come to realize that MI6 faked Bailey's death, and for them to find out the reason, Victoria had to be intentionally captured. Meanwhile, the three bring Bailey to Moscow, where Bailey remembers the location of the massive explosive devices. They are welcomed by an old friend, Ivan Simonov, who helps to smuggle them to the heart of Russia. In Moscow, Bailey concludes he hid the bomb in the Kremlin, the one place where they will never look. There, Marvin uses a sledgehammer to break a wall from the cubicle in order to get inside the Kremlin. They go inside to find the suitcase bomb, powered by red mercury, which makes it undetectable for the military to find its radiation traces. Katya stops them, but Frank persuades her to join their mission. They escape and go back to the hotel. They have a little drink to celebrate saving the world, but a call from Victoria, who has broken out of MI6 confinement for failing to kill him, reveals that Bailey was imprisoned because he wanted to detonate the bomb. Holding Frank at gunpoint, Bailey confirms Victoria's message, admitting he made a deal to give Horton the bomb. Horton then shows up and thanks Frank for his services to the country. Before leaving, Bailey fatally shoots Katya, frames Frank, and leaves with the bomb. Upon arriving to their destination, Horton fails to honor their deal, intending to torture Bailey for all his secrets. But Bailey deploys a nerve gas and escapes to the Iranian embassy in London. Meanwhile, after being captured and ordered to get killed by a firing squad, Marvin, Frank, and Sarah are rescued by Victoria. Meanwhile, Ivan watches the love of his life kill people. In pursuit, Frank is attacked by Han. The two then get into a physical altercation. Reaching a standoff, Frank urges Han to join him in stopping Bailey. Han relents, and the five reenact the plan to recapture the bomb. They fly to London to hatch the plan. Frank gives Sarah her own gun, complete with her initials carved on the hand grip. When the target arrives, the plan is set in motion. Sarah gets slapped by Frank in front of the Iranian ambassador, who approaches her. Later, she seduces him and takes him hostage. Marvin poses as a potential defector, causing a diversion in the embassy that allows the team to enter disguised as plumbers. Meanwhile, Bailey avenges the death of his wife and son. Horton is killed as the bomb is activated, leaving it for its location to be later discovered by the team. But Bailey has already triggered the timer. They try to make Marvin deactivate the bomb. Victoria is called to be told that Bailey is on the run. She goes looking for him, who realizes that he is being targeted. He casually escapes. While in the middle of a firefight, Bailey takes Sarah hostage and flees to Han's plane to escape the imminent explosion. Frank, Marvin, Victoria, and Han give chase. With Han and Victoria on the ground and Marvin with Frank in the air, Marvin's attempt to disarm the suitcase bomb, causing the timer to count down even faster. They come to find that Bailey is on his way to the airport with Sarah still held hostage. Meanwhile, Frank and Marvin's chopper crashes with the weapon of mass destruction. Fortunately, they survive, but the bomb continues to count down. Subsequently, upon arriving at the airport, Bailey forces Sarah to enter Han's plane. Frank boards the plane and confronts Bailey with the suitcase. He forces Frank to leave with Sarah and the suitcase with Nightshade in it. They rejoin the others and come to find that Marvin couldn't disarm the bomb. They wait for the suitcase to detonate as the plane takes off. Han lets out a curse in Korean. Victoria tells Marvin to put his arms around her while Frank and Sarah hold each other as they make their way to them. Meanwhile, as Bailey is flying the plane, he hears the sound of the timer going off. He comes to find the nightshade is planted in the plane and comments that he didn't see it coming. High in the sky, nightshade explodes. The team is startled by the massive explosion. Frank reveals that he hid the bomb aboard the plane and confronted Bailey with the empty case. Han walks up to Frank and tells him that he was actually starting to like him and even 
thought about not killing him. He then angrily demands $30 million for his plane and $20 million for not killing Frank. Moses simply thanks Han. He walks out with Sarah and they proceed to make out. Frank then tells his girlfriend that there is a job in Caracas. Sarah smiles at the thought of it. Later, in Caracas, Sarah enjoys herself on a mission with Frank and Marvin. As she's on the stage dancing her heart out, she casually takes out a rifle and begins shooting at the ceiling. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.